In recent years, the island has seen a paradigm shift with an influx of international doctors seeking to learn from Taiwan's medical pioneers. Thanks to Dr. Chen Hung Chi, this man is slowly regaining his ability to speak after his throat was destroyed from receiving radiation therapy for cancer. In 1995, Dr. Chen gained recognition for being the first doctor to successfully reconstruct a patient's vocal cord using part of their intestine. This groundbreaking operation to give back a person's voice has established him as one of the best micro-reconstruction surgeons around. A team of doctors have come from all over the world to witness Dr. Chen perform his renowned surgical procedure. Forty-seven-year-old Ho Chi Zhao has been unable to eat or speak for months. This is a 47-year-old male patient. He had uh, MPC, nasopharyngeal cancer, about 20 years ago, and received uh, radiotherapy. Mr. Ho's condition is not unique. Caused by genetics and diet, this type of cancer is prevalent in southern China and Taiwan. Radiotherapy has cured this disease of nasopharyngeal cancer, but has caused many uh, side effects, such as hearing impairment, and also switching of the airway, switching of the esophagus. If he has no surgery, he will have poor nutrition and also dysphagia, and also the, cannot breathe. So that will cause sudden death. Dr. Chen has successfully completed more of these surgeries than anyone in the world. But this operation will be one of the toughest of his career. Reconstruction requires healthy blood vessels in order to connect with the intestine. But the severity of the damage, combined with difficult access to the throat, makes the procedure extremely dangerous and complex. It's become a large-scale operation involving doctors from seven different departments. Three highly technical surgeries will be performed over the course of eight hours. Planning is crucial, as any tiny complications will put the patient's life in danger. For the transplant and reconstruction work, Dr. Chen will apply his trademark airborne technique. The suture is weaved through the blood vessel walls and tied in mid-air. Compared to the traditional method, the suture never drops, nor do the forceps touch the body, resulting in less trauma to the vessels. Thank you. 
天要为何启照先生进行全咽喉切除手术。The first team is trying to open the throat and remove the patient's larynx and esophagus. But what they find is worse than they imagined. But what we found is that the lips and the nasal are very strong. They are very thick and very hard to remove. Any minor damage could result in the patient bleeding out. A cardiovascular specialist is standing by to execute an emergency plan should anything go wrong. Three hours into the operation, the team managed to remove the severely damaged larynx and esophagus. But something unexpected does happen, and Dr. Chen Hung Chi is called in immediately to take over as the patient's life hangs in the balance. A group of surgeons in Taiwan have reached a crisis point. Unable to identify a healthy blood vessel, their throat reconstruction operation may be over before it's even begun. Now we are doing what we have done is completely out of the ordinary treatment plan, so we have to use this part of the body to cover the area. Also, this part of the body is already covered. We can find some tumors and tumors, so this is what we need. Also, 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 this is what we need. Having found a working vessel, the next team begins to harvest the ileocecal flap. Found in every person, this is the part of the intestine that will be used for voice reconstruction. Dr. Chen and the team work quickly to transplant the ileocecal flap. He only has a 30 minutes window, or else the organ may become useless. The operation requires plenty of saline to keep the surgical area clean. But since it causes the suture to stick, Dr. Chen applies his airborne technique. Using forceps to control the suture, he is able to connect the blood vessels and tie knots in mid-air without the suture ever touching the water. After 15 grueling hours, the operation is over. Medical excellence and technology have enabled doctors like Chen Hung Chi to pioneer new methods to save and transform lives. But it's not just individuals who are pushing the boundaries of innovation.